Episode 7, GRU Incorporation Innovation. GRU and Lucy, now that they are partners permanently, have constructed a new organization structure. They have added a few new employees. They have added new systems and lines of business to enhance the way they will run the company now that the company has shifted to a whole different type of industry. With this new organization structure, the chart goes with GRU at the top and a new Minion employee Phil at the bottom. Lucy is under GRU but over Kevin. Kevin is over Dr. Nefario, Bob, and Stuart as he always has been. And then under Stuart now are two other management subdivisions that are ran by Jerry and Phil, two new minions that have been promoted out of the minion family to help Gru run special portions of the company. Each of the members of the management organization have titles and their titles are essential to what they are doing for the company with the new expansion project. Gru will remain in his same position as chief executive officer of the company. He is the CEO and he runs everything in the industry. Lucy is now been added to a new position of upper level management that was not there before. She is the president and works side by side with Gru to complete tasks and common goals for the company. Kevin, who was formerly the director, has been promoted to the vice president position where he works directly under Lucy and Gru to assist further in higher level management problems. Bob was once before the financial director and now has been promoted to chief financial officer and he runs the accounting and finance subdivisions and he is also responsible for making sure that all of the other operations are in compliance. Dr. Nefario is still the research director and doctor and he is under Bob but over Stuart. Stuart revised in his same position as the operations director where he will oversee all of the operations. Beforehand, Stuart was responsible for also housekeeping and some human resources duties. Now that has been split amongst two minions that have been promoted. Jerry is now the minion that is the human resources director and he has subdivisions that make sure that the company is running efficiently and correctly. He monitors paid time off and he monitors employees tasks to make sure that everyone is treated fairly within the organization. Phil is also a minion that has been promoted out of the minion family. He is now the director of home housekeeping and he makes sure that everything at the home does not interfere with company issues. So Phil will be responsible for seeing to the girls. His division assists the girls with the day-to-day -day issues from homework to assignments to getting to and from school and that they only need to reach out to Gru unless it's a very serious matter. Key concepts for this new human resources department are things that have been problems for GRU since the beginning of the show. They now have an employee handbook that states exactly what GRU is expecting from each and every employee. They have a consent to non-competitors agreement, so in the event that now Dr. Nefario has returned to work for GRU, if he were to ever try to leave again, he would not be able to work for another villain or anti-villain of the same industry unless it was okay and approved by GRU or within a certain amount of time. GRU now has implemented an employee time off and resignation policy 
All employees must give a two week notice prior to leaving the company if they ever want to come back. And then if a, a employee is planning to take time off, they must do so in advance and let the team know so that they are not down staff. GRU has also implemented an employee punch and scheduling system so that each and every employee is tracked and that they will know where each and every employee is in the building at all times. With the new housekeeping and nanny service, Phil has been designated as the house nanny for the girls and he is responsible for this department. He has about 500 other employees that help him with this area alone and they are responsible for simple tasks such as drop off, pick up from school, helping with homework and school projects putting them to bed, waking them up for school, cooking breakfast, cooking and cleaning around Gru's home, and attending any PTA meetings or events that the girls have when Gru cannot. Their job is solely responsible for attending the house and the girls, and they do not interfere with anything that is not in compliance with that. Bob was formerly just the financial manager and he was overseeing all of the financials. Being that Gru and Lucy have done such a huge project of expanding, they had to come up with a better way to manage all of the money that they are receiving. Gru has been promoted to the chief financial officer, CFO, and now runs a larger finance and accounting department that have three subdivisions, accounting, finance, and financial support, and they are responsible for making sure that all of the bills are paid, all the money is received, and that each of the employees get paid while Gru and Lucy get their share as well. Payments and income are coming directly from state and government and the Anti-Villain League. They work closely with Silas to come up with contract agreements for the tasks that he gives Lucy and Gru and the cases that they have. With all the new changes being implemented, it is all the result of Gru and Lucy having came together for a collaboration of a new industry. The Anti-Villain League had never had personal agents that ran a corporation as big as Gru's corporation in order to ensure that the company is devoted to fighting crime with the Anti-Villain League on a global scale. With this new line of business, Gru and Lucy have implemented a new management team to serve them with a partnered agency for a common goal. In conclusion of the show, Gru has learned a lot. He has changed his organization tremendously. He has developed a new line of business beyond the jellies and jams that will provide him with enough income to maximize profits for his company. Gru has reflected on many of the concepts that Lucy has expressed. Gru is a better manager today than he was prior to the beginning of the show. And as a review of all the concepts discussed in this show, Gru was able to implement each to make sure that his company ran and runs smoothly. From organization structure, to the differentiation model, to the integration structure, to the emotional management maturity, contingency plan and entry barriers, the eight step process to decision making, the SWOT model analysis, and understanding managerial ethics and producing an employee handbook for his company. GRU is the perfect example of how to be a better manager.